This week on the Double T Insider, we learn more about freshman wide receiver Reginald Davis and his transition from small town high school to Division I college. We shine our light on men's basketball player Dion Kravich in this week's Red Raider Spotlight. And we go on the court to learn some moves from the big man himself as we bring back Don't Sweat the Technique. All that and a whole lot more. This is the Double T Insider. Another edition of the Double T Insider. I'm Caitlin Kravick alongside Brett Brown, bringing you the inside access into Texas Tech athletics. This week, the Double T Insider brings you a closer look at freshman wide receiver Reginald Davis. Davis brings us the insider on changing positions, the differences between 1A and D1, and his career goals. Let's take a closer look. By Reginald Davis. And Davis has room. If he gets this block, he could. See, being from where I'm from, uh, we, we took football very seriously. So even though it was 1A, we went out there and practiced and played like it was big time football because that's just our culture and that's how we came up. So basically, we didn't think it was nothing different about it. We just wanted to play. I like everything about basketball. I played a lot in high school, middle school, growing up. That, was, that became my favorite sport growing up. Uh, I started playing football and realized I was pretty good at this. So. <laughs> So I figured if I keep doing this, I could make something out of myself. Because it's, it's a lot bigger here and better athletes also. So I had to compete and get on the level of other athletes that came from bigger schools that had more coaching, more training than me. When I first got here, I didn't understand the ropes as much and all the practice and stuff. I was kind of behind a little bit, but with a little bit more practice, I became better and better. So I got to know the coaches. Coach Cummy was a great asset on me coming here and I got to get with the players and I hung out with them a lot and as time went on I just kept in touch with them and they became like best friends to me so I feel like this is where I want to be. Yeah, there's plenty of people that inspire me to be better, and such as my family, my kids, that make me want to do better. My first goal is to graduate, that's the main goal and then if, if I can go on and play pro ball that would be great but other than that graduating is on my mind right now. I think if I work hard and put in the hard work and come and listen to the coaches and do what I got to do, that I can have a chance of going pro and playing for a couple of years. It all depends on me, nobody else. Um, the most memorable, I'll say the Holiday Bowl. That was great for me. I love that game. Everybody on my team was running around, having fun, excited, and I was a part of it, so it was a great feeling. Oh, the fans was in it. I ain't never, even though it was far off, everybody was there and everybody was into the game cheering us on, helping us get through it. I love being here and I love the fans and I love how y'all support us and I just want to say thank you. This week, we shine light on Red Raider basketball's seven foot forward. From Serbia to Ontario to Lubbock, Texas. Here's this week's Red Raider Spotlight with Dion Kravich. My name is Dion Kravich. I'm a forward. I'm from Mostad, which is in Bosnia and Herzegovina. That's where I'm born. And at the age of four, I moved to London, Ontario, Canada with my mom, dad, and brother because of the war back home. So we lived in Canada our entire lives until I got to Texas Tech. My family back home is just freezing every day. And I tell them here it's like, well, like 20 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, like 70 Fahrenheit here. So, I mean, they get kind of jealous. The key differences when I transferred from Canada to Texas Tech is mainly the physicality level and the speed of the game. In Canada, it's more so a finesse game. So, I mean, it's a lot of shooters and uh, ball handlers and all that. But here, when you get here, it's more so about uh, just being the tougher player and uh, it's a lot more fast paced. And having a different coach every year for these past five years, it's been kind of tough, but you also learn so much from each coach. Each coach has so much to bring, but uh, you know, they have to also know about you. Basically, they have to start all over knowing about you and how you play. So, I mean, that's the tough part, but I mean, it's cool just uh, playing for so many different coaches, so many great coaches. Me and a few other teammates, uh, we're talking about one thing we want before we leave Texas Tech is to have the crowd storm the court. So, I mean, when that happened, it was just an amazing feeling, you know. We beat a great team in Baylor, 
So I mean, I was hoping that they would rush the court when I saw them coming. It was just, it was just a great feeling. The home crowd brings so much to the team. You know, they bring, they bring energy, and we feed off their energy. So I mean, these last two games versus Baylor and versus uh, versus Oklahoma, they've been great. You know, we've had almost 10,000 people, and they've helped us a lot. My biggest heroes are uh, NBA players who used to play, who used to play in the NBA, the Serbian players such as like Vlade Divac. Paige just the Akovic, and they were on that really good Sacramento Kings team back in the day. They represented Yugoslavia, and me and my family were always, were always watching them, and so they've always been my idols, and I like to emulate my game after Vlade Diva, so he's probably the biggest hero to me. I'm hoping to still play uh, pro after this year, you know, play till I'm in my 30s, and then afterwards, I'll do something that, I mean, I got two, math, two uh, degrees, I'll have my undergrad and my master's in sport management, so just something with that, I haven't really, figured it out yet, but I want to just do somewhere where I help others because I love doing that. So maybe a teacher, a coach, something like that. I come from a strong academic family. You know, my mom and dad, they were both professors. They both got their degrees. They're, they're both uh, teachers back home, actually. You know, they uh, want me to succeed a lot academically. It matters to them more than basketball for me. So, I mean, it's a big, it's a big deal in my family and I just want to do well. My most memorable moment up to date um, being at Texas Tech is probably the Baylor game. But besides that, the West Virginia game last year, where I got the put back at the buzzer to advance to the next round. So I mean, that was big. Beating West Virginia, which was a team that already beat us twice, so it was good to get them back when it mattered most. Community service, it means a lot to me. I mean, I love helping people, like I said, especially kids. So um, I mean, for example, today we went to Cooper North School, Elementary School, and uh, we just talked to the kids about uh, what they want their professions to be in the future and we just told them make sure you listen to your teachers make sure you do well in school have good grades or otherwise you won't be able to have those professions we get coached by our coaches we have to listen to them and i mean if we don't get good grades if we don't listen to our coaches we're not going to play so just told them that the kids loved it and they were even cheering let's go raiders on their own without us even saying anything while we we're taking pictures so i mean that was just great just seeing the smiles on their kids they were all hugging us so it was a great feeling after the break, we rejoin Dion Kravich for this week's Don't Sweat the Technique. And later, Luke Heath spots the best tweets of the week. But first, here's the Texas Tech trivia question of the week. Which current Lady Raider basketball player ranks top six in the Big 12 for both points per game and rebounds per game? Is it A, Amber Battle, B, Minta Spears, C, Chantal Nobles, or D, Kellen Schneider? The answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week will be coming up later in the show. Stay tuned, because after the break, we'll be coming back with more of the Double T Insider. This is you. You want to be a director in Hollywood? Maybe you want to capture someone's attention on a 30-second spot. Maybe you'd rather be a social media manager, or you want to sit behind the world news desk. You can do that here at the College of Media and Communication at Texas Tech University with a degree in advertising, electronic media, journalism, media strategies, or public relations. From here, it's possible. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. Dion Kravich goes one-on-one -on, -one on the court with DTI in this week's Don't Sweat the Technique. Ryan Kravick here with Double T Insider. I'm here with Dejan Kravick. No relation. <laughs> He's going to show me a couple moves. Uh, so I'm just going to show Ryan here some dribbling moves first. You know, it should be him teaching me, but hey, uh, I'll show him some. Uh, uh, so in, pra in practices, you know, we practice every dribble move. We make, we want, uh, I mean, everyone to be able to handle the ball just in case, you know. So we just do regular drive through the basket. We do uh, through the legs moves. We do behind the back. We do spin moves. We also do uh, just some in and outs. Get your defender on the other side. And uh, we also do some uh, hesitation to crossover. So we go and then cross over to the other side. So we practice some of those. And through the legs. Yep. He got it. He's ready. Behind the back. Spin. Yep. You got it. You got it. In and out. He's ready, he, he knows, he's good. 
Now uh, we're just gonna do some post moves, which is really where I play mostly. So um, moves that I do, it really depends on how the defender is guarding you. I mean, if you have the ball in the post and he's kind of guarding you here, you do, he's basically forcing you to go middle. So you make a move, you shoot a jump hook. If he's uh, playing you the other way, my favorite move, I just like to spin off him and I just go baseline and just miss the layup, stuff like that. Uh, but uh, basically it was just a jump hook is really the go-to move. You know, you can counter it too. So you can go jump hook, get him in the air and just go up and under. Um, you can go, uh, you can do a drop step too. So you, you play him high, play him high and just drop step. And then just dunk on his head. And uh, that's really it. I mean, you can do some of the moves if you want. There it is. There you go. He made his layup too, so. Up and under. Ah, almost. And my favorite move actually, no one really taught me this move, but I just like doing it. So I just uh, dribble it. I get the defender in the air, he jumps. I come here, force him to go over there, and then I just spin back and then make the hook shot. If you want to try that, just double pivot. I don't know where it came from, but yep, just like that. I'm here. That's really it for our post moves. Last thing we're going to show is just uh, the alley-oop, which is probably, uh, if you're a fan, that's probably your favorite play, just uh, throwing it up there and have the big man or even the guard, whoever's really athletic, just dunk it. So uh, we're going to try it. Uh, for me, um, I shoot right-handed, but I like dunking with my left. And I'm a one foot jumper, so I like taking off with this foot and just catch with my left. So if he can throw it to me, I'd want it usually to be thrown around this area, just in that left side area, and then, so go ahead. Just like that. And uh, what's your favorite spot? So, <laughs> yeah. Well, if I could jump, I'd probably want to go somewhere high off the glass. Just All right. Like catch your goat down the okay. So we're just going to do it right now. Chris Paul to Blake Griffin right now. Ready? There it is. How about a game of three? Let's get it. <laughs> you want first ball? Yeah, uh, sure. All right. Yeah, just in the key, I guess. Ah. This has been Don't Sweat the Technique. Thank you, Dayan. Thank you. Learned some new moves today. For the Double T Insider, I'm Ryan Kravick. Guns up. This week, Double T Insider goes on the clock with Kenna Kilgo. Find out Kenna's favorite selfie pose and much more. Double T Insider here, and we're about to go on the clock with Ken and Kilgo, a game where I give her 10 scenarios that she has to answer to the best of her ability, all within 60 seconds. All right, Ken, are you ready? I think so. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock. Something I can't wait to cross off my bucket list. Uh, skydiving. If I could speak any other language, language, it would be? French. If I had one superpower, it would be? Uh, reading minds. My favorite selfie pose is? Uh... <laughs> the one movie I can watch over and over again is? Step Brothers. If I could have dinner with one celebrity, it would be? Brad Pitt. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go first? Australia. What is your dream job? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> own my own, like, beauty store. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Steak. What was your favorite TV show growing up? That 70s show. Okay, it looks like you beat the clock. Congratulations. <laughs> My name is Caitlin Kravick, and we just went on the clock with Ken and Kilgo.
After the break, we're coming back with our best tweets of the week. But first, here's another look at your Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. Have you figured out the answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week yet? Earlier we asked, which current Lady Raider basketball player ranks top six in the Big 12 for both points per game and rebounds per game? Your options were A, Amber Battle, B, Minta Spears, C, Chantal Nobles, or D, Kellen Schneider. If you don't know the answer yet, we'll give you some more time to think it over. The answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week will be revealed later in the show. Don't go away, because there's more Double T Insider coming up after the break. This is you. You want to be a director in Hollywood? Maybe you want to capture someone's attention on a 30-second spot. Maybe you'd rather be a social media manager, or you want to sit behind the world news desk. You can do that here at the College of Media and Communication at Texas Tech University with a degree in advertising, electronic media, journalism, media strategies, or public relations. From here, it's possible. Each week for the Double T Insider, we pick the best tweets about Texas Tech athletics and air them on our show. This week, we're featuring tweets about future Red Raider football players and Texas Tech basketball. Top recruit Ladarius Kidd tweeted, I can't wait to be playing in the Jones next year. Hashtag guns up. Brennan McGinty, a current Tech student, tweeted, Thank God Patrick Mahomes is going to be a major player for us in football and in baseball. Hashtag wreck em and hashtag guns up. And finally, Tech basketball fan Ashley Shirley tweeted, Even though TTU B-Ball and D. Hanna's loss, they still played well. Keep up the good work, you guys, and you'll get that big win soon. Hashtag wreck em. Check back with us next week for more DTI tweet picks, when your tweet could just be the one chosen. With another week of games in the books, let's take a look at upcoming games for Texas Tech Athletics. On Tuesday, number 18 Lady Raider Tennis will be on the road in Williamsburg, Virginia to take on the College of William & Mary. First serve is set for 3 p.m. On Wednesday, Lady Raider Basketball will travel to Austin to take on the University of Texas. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. and can be seen on the Longhorn Network. On Friday, Red Raider Tennis is on the road to face the University of Miami. First serve is set for 12 p.m. Texas Tech Track and Field will spend Friday and Saturday competing in two events, the Boston University Valentine Invitational in Boston, Massachusetts, and the New Mexico Track and Field Classic in Albuquerque. Events are scheduled to last both days. Red Raider Tennis concludes their trip to Florida with a match Saturday against South Florida. First serve is set for noon. Lady Raider basketball will be on the road Saturday to take on TCU. The Lady Raiders are looking to avenge a loss from earlier in the season. Tip-off is set for noon and can be seen on FSN. Red Raider basketball will take on number eight Oklahoma State at the United Spirit Arena on Saturday. Tip-off is set for 8.30 p.m. and can be seen on ESPNU. It's time to reveal the answer to the Texas Tech trivia question of the week. But first, we would like to introduce Marissa. Marissa is a freshman and a business major here at Texas Tech University. How are you doing today, Marissa? I'm doing pretty well, how are you? I'm good. Each week on the Double T Insider, we ask our audience a trivia question revolving around Texas Tech athletics. And now, we're giving the students an opportunity to answer the trivia question for themselves. So I've gotta ask you, do you think you have what it takes to answer this week's trivia question? I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, earlier in our show, we asked which current Lady Raider basketball player ranks top six in the Big 12 for both points per game and rebounds per game. Your options are A, Amber Battle, B, Minta Spears, C, Chantal Nobles, or D, Kellen Schneider. Ooh, I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with B, Minta Spears. I am sorry, but that is not correct. The correct answer to this week's trivia question is A, Amber Battle. Amber Battle ranks fourth in the Big 12, averaging 18.7 points per game and sixth in the Big 12 with 7.8 rebounds per game. Thank you so much, Marissa, for joining us this week on the Texas Tech Trivia Question. If you didn't get this week's trivia question right, no worries. Next week, we'll be back with even more Texas Tech Trivia along with another edition of the Double T Insider. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of the Double T Insider. Thank you so much for watching. 
Be sure to tune in next Wednesday for our DTI weekly update on Texas Tech Athletics. And as always, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and go to youtube.com slash double T Insider to watch all of our videos. For Caitlin Kravick, I'm Brett Brown. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.